not sure about this tall wood going around. I, mean, I can make it look a little bit better, but I think it's too tall. So my idea was is to, you know, prevent items from falling into the stove. Uh, maybe prevent some smoke or, you know, cooking residues from getting on items that are being stored up here. But uh, as far as visually, I don't know if I like it. But I don't know if I'll like it better if I make it shorter. Like, you know, I can make it so that it's real short and it'll blend in like this or make it just a little bit taller or leave it tall like it is. I don't know. When I don't know, it makes me just want to wait. Think about it. So one of the next things I've got to do is, is install this vent fan in the roof. It's looking a little dirty up here. So uh, I'm going to hose it down and scrub it a little bit. Been scrubbing the roof with this handy ice scraper, snow scraper tool. Now on the inside of my trailer, I notice that there's a little bit of like rusty spot. And I see this little hole right there. I bet you... I bet you it's leaking there. Not this hole. Not this hole, but this hole at the seam. That's leaking. It's ponding right here. Not a big deal about the ponding, but it ponds there, and then there's a hole right there. That's not the best thing right there either. A little uh, air pocket that can be filled. big deal so I'm trying to get a video shot of the little drip of water up in there it's kind of a yellowy rusty red drip but so yeah it's definitely leaking up in there Well, that's what it looks like. It's cut, sanded, screwed together. If I need to change it in the future, I can. But uh, that'll be a, an excellent place to start. So, supposedly my uh, brackets, my locking 90 degree leg hardware hinges are supposed to be coming today but it might be late before that gets here and my workshelf is uh, pretty much ready maybe just a few little finishing touches um, it's almost time to start putting in this fan and the windows I've got uh, the butyl tape. The only thing I don't really have is some caulking. And I suppose I could go get some caulking. Got the Amazon delivery. Big old pack of screws. And eight hinges. Now I was uh, messing around with this hinge in a inside and it's pretty stiff but that's how you release it and then 
push it closed. Let me show you on the other camera. So you pull that down and then close it at the same time. It's real stiff. And that's how thick it is. So one will have to be attached to some wood on the back of the plywood and then again the plywood and some wood on the other side so it's going to be sticking out farther it's really hard to open that hopefully it'll just get easier the more I use it Anyway, there's eight of them. I got to figure out how to get them installed on the, the bed now. Separating out the screws, I get 10 screws per hinge, so five per side. Got my first hinge installed. I used four screws. And, uh, for backing, I just put a little piece of one by to make it a little wider to get the screw in and have backing. I'll go ahead and get the next one installed and then I'll test it over here. Somehow I have to, I have to cut another piece of wood that goes across or as a block somewhere, but probably it should go across so I can mount the hinge to it. So I have this uh, first leg in a usable condition. I don't know if I'm gonna, if that'll be the final iteration, but it's a working prototype. So, it's got two hinges, you know, and some spacer boards so that the screws don't go all the way through uh, on both sides of the plywood. And I, I had to do this several different times to, to get it right, but as it comes and gives support all along the plywood to the other plywood. Locks in place. It's a, not that super easy to uh, undo it because you have to put a little pressure. See if I can do this with just two hands. Put a little pressure on it and then back and forth a little bit and then you can close it seems real sturdy so I have this tied off so it doesn't fall and uh, give you so it's it's real sturdy. Now I've been trying to make it light, but sturdy. And really I probably should have a continuous piece of wood that goes all the way across but that's going to add more weight and use up more material if i just use these like landing pads uh it's less less wasted and so it's more steps to get it all in place but it, i don't know 
probably just keep doing it that way so that I don't waste material. Two down, two to go. I've got four legs. One, two, three, four. However, I'm not done yet. This leg is floating off the ground. So I need to shorten. I need to start by shortening this one and that one and uh, scribe it in a little bit so that the whole thing comes down just a, a tad. So I get started on that. Close enough. 